Praise be Jesus Christ. The body of Sister Wilhelmina appears to be incorrupt. This is being investigated by the church. And of course, we submit to the church's judgment. A priest friend of mine who celebrates the traditional Latin Mass loaned me his copy of a book on Sister Wilhelmina. Check this out. That's Sister Wilhelmina. God's Will. The Life and Works of Sister Mary Wilhelmina, Foundress of the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, written by her community. So this is the authoritative book on the life and works of Sister Wilhelmina. Fascinating stuff. She lived during the time of the Second Vatican Council, and as a religious sister, she experienced just the, the weirdness that happened with so many women's religious orders in the U.S. after Vatican II. So many sisters went from seeing themselves as brides of Christ to social workers or freedom justice warriors. And Sister Wilhelmina was deeply grieved by the compromises and the laxity and the abuses she was seeing. And it, it, it says here, from 1979 to 1993, Sister Wilhelmina appealed directly to the newly elected John Paul II regarding the crisis in the church, the liturgy, and her own community. The two met in 1998 <clears throat> on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of Ecclesia Day. And she also wrote to uh, Cardinal Ratzinger. So eventually she founded a community faithful to the proper observance of religious life. And she writes, just when she's describing just the daily grind of doing laundry and lifting and the noise and the, you know, the hard work sisters do every day, uh, she wrote, but there are holy priests to be formed here, a nation to be re-evangelized. There is a traditional and respectful liturgy to be restored, the Catholic faith to be preserved, souls to be saved through the ministry of the priesthood because her community is founded to help priests. Now, very interesting. So Sister Wilhelmina, foundress of a community, you could say a reformed community, returning to the, the, the faithful observance of religious life, two other founders whose bodies were found to be incorrupt are St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross. Both of them as well responded to the laxity and abuses in their time. Like St. Teresa of Avila, her community, before she started her own reformed community, her community, there were sisters who were from high upper class. They had servants serving them in the convent and they had tailor-made beautiful, exquisite habits. And there were other, you know, kind of abuses. And so St. Teresa of Avila, founded a reformed community of, of Carmelites and so too St. John of the Cross. The two of them were friends actually. He reformed the Carmelites and both of them, their bodies were found to be incorrupt as well. Okay, from 2 Thessalonians, St. Paul says, hold fast to the traditions that you were taught. Viva Cristo Rey. 